ChatGPT. We've all heard about it. We've all trying to utilize it to the best of our ability to improve our business, save time and make our life easier. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through how we're using ChatGPT in our business to save us literally tens, dozens and dozens of hours every single week and how you can do the same too. If you don't know who I am, my name is Lawrence. I have built and grown two agencies, Lawrence Marketing and now Hey You, where we help other agencies to grow their business by getting more appointments onto their calendar. So how are we using ChatGPT to grow our business. There's a couple of different ways that we do it, but there's kind of too many ways at the moment. So I'm gonna break them down into individual videos. And today I'm, I'm gonna be explaining how we make sure that when we reach out to prospects, we're reaching out to the exact right prospect and there's no dud leads in our lead list. When you're sourcing prospects from a website like Seamless or Apollo or whatever platform you're using, unfortunately there is going to be a percentage of leads that aren't the right fit. Whether it's you're looking to to target e-commerce brands and there's a bunch of websites in there there's a bunch of prospects that aren't actual e-commerce brands but for some reason they've fallen into that category inside the lead sourcing platform what we're doing is we're using chat gpt to identify those dud leads and remove them from the spreadsheet. It's saving us an awful lot of time. Previously, we used to have virtual assistants go through and make sure that the leads are the right fit, but now we can, with a click of a button, let ChatGPT do it for us. And in this video, that's exactly what I'm gonna be explaining. So let's jump onto my computer and I will walk you through the process. So what I've got here is a bunch of prospects that we have sourced from, I believe it was Apollo. And we've got their name, we've got their company name, and we've got their website. We'd obviously ordinarily have their email address, but I thought I'd kind of save their privacy. What we need to do is we need to make sure that we've got a chat GPT account. I'm not gonna explain how you get that in this video, but you need to make sure you've got an account. And then what we need to do is we need to connect chat GPT to Google Sheets. So we go up to extensions, and we go add-ons and we click get add-ons. And then what you're going to do is you're going to type in GPT and you're gonna select GPT for sheets and docs. And it looks like this. You're gonna go ahead and install it. And then once you have installed it, you can upload, grab a bunch of leads and pop them in a Google Sheet. So it looks a little bit like this. And I've got a pre-written formula here that I'm going to walk you through. So what you need to do is obviously hit kind of equals to start the formula inside the relevant cell. So you're going to type in equals GPT and then open brackets and then you're going to select the website that you want GPT to track and then you're going to hit comma and then you're going to open some speech marks and then you're going to type in something along the lines of this prompt here. So this is what we're actually asking ChatGPT to do, this highlighted section. So what I've got written here is visit every page of this website to check if they are A and then for us it's a digital marketing agency. For you it might be whatever your industry, whatever you're, whoever you're targeting, if they offer any form of digital marketing services, or if they offer any form of whatever type of service that your client should offer, then write the word yes. If they do not offer whatever service you have, write the word no. And then what I've got here, just to highlight something to you, so we don't work with every type of agency going. So we need to also say to ChatGPT, if there is this type of agency, then write the word no. So we've got, if they're a creative agency, write the word no. If they are a branding agency, write the word no. If they offer digital marketing services and either creative services or branding services, write the word yes. So basically we wanna say that just because somebody might offer creative services as part of their, you know, what they do for their clients. We don't want to exclude them. It's only those that solely offer 
creative or branding that we don't work with. You would type in your instructions, then you would finish it off with a close brackets and then end the speech brackets and then end the formula with some more brackets. So you can pause this video and kind of copy exactly how I've written this out. And then you're going to let it load and it's gonna say yes or no. Now, what you can then do, and you want to do this with a small data size to begin with, because your initial instructions probably aren't going to be accurate enough to allow it to run through all of your leads. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag this formula down and check whether or not this is correct. So we've got yes for everything here. And then if I select amazon.com, it should say no, which it does. But I've been through this lead list before shooting this video and this, for example, this website is not the right fit for us. And this website is also not the right fit for us. And before I created this video, I ran through a few tests and sometimes this came up as yes and other times it came up as no. You've got to be really clear and precise with your instructions. This is Austin film crew. So what we could write here, we want to basically make sure that this says no. And this is how you're going to build up a bank of instructions for chat GPT. So what we could do is we could come in here and I'm going to write if the website offers film production or creation uh, I'll get rid of the comma actually. Write the word. No. Let's see if that says yes or no. Hopefully it says no. There we go. So what I should have actually done was written that on the very top, very top formula and then dragged them all down. So now we've got a few more no's. So let's check out the Loft Entertainment's website. I'm doing this to show you the process that you're gonna to have to go through to make sure that you're giving ChatGPT the right instructions because it does take time to figure out the instructions. So they do film and TV production. So what I could say is up here, I could do if the website does influencer marketing type yes and then we can see if the loft entertainment changes and i won't go through this for too too much longer because you get the idea but it's just about building up a bank of instructions on a small data set so then what you can do is build up that instruction and then when you're happy with it it's just a case of literally copying the formula and just dragging it all the way down through your leads and then sorting your lead list from A to Z based on yes or no so based on that good fit column and then you can take all the no's and get rid of them and only have your ideal prospects to reach out to which is going to improve all aspects of your outreach it's going to obviously improve response rate it means that you're not having to waste emails going from a particular email address to the wrong type of prospect so it's going to improve your deliverability rate over time it's just going to make everything better basically so that is one particular way that we are using chat gpt to save time save money improve our results from our outreach. There's a couple more ways that we're utilizing ChatGPT and AI, and I will go into those in different videos. If you want help growing your business, getting more appointments onto your calendar, then below, first link in the description, click on that link, watch a video, it'll explain exactly how we can help, and then you can jump on a call with our team, and we will walk you through and figure out whether or not we're a good fit to work together. So thanks for watching, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you on the next one.